Hello guys, Jason here for Chart Guys taking a look at silver. Silver having a very different day than gold so far. We've knocked out a couple of key levels and we're at risk of losing this daily uptrend. We've set a lower low underneath the most recent low, which is always the first component of a trend change. The question is, do we get any follow through on this or is this just going to be a fuzzy level of support that we're going to be paying attention to for the next little while? After just setting a new high, the last thing we want to do is set a new lower low. That opens up a lot of volatility and we're seeing that in the form of this big candlestick today. So our low that we need to watch out for is going to be today's low, 1680. And there's still a couple of hours left in this candlestick, so that may change. And then 1664 below that. Our resistance is our high of the today. It is sitting at 1732. On the four hour time frame, you can see this nice rounded top into that downside continuation. And based on the setup that I'm seeing here, it's a good chance we're facing an hourly bear flag. So let's take a look at that. We've lost this four hour uptrend with that new low. Hourly time frame, there's that bear flag setting up pretty nicely, grinding this EMA 5. We haven't even had a real good bounce attempt yet, and this is fitting pretty perfectly for a bear flag. Now, what I would look for for a negation of this flag would be a good solid push above 1688. I don't want to see too many more hours of sideways movement on this flag. I don't like to see them get too extended. And for execution, we're going to look for a loss of 1680, which is the low of that first drop. We could also look for an early signal with a loss of 1682. If we go to our 15 minute time frame, you can see that we are in a 15 minute downtrend. Bulls need to stay above 1682 if they're going to change that. And anything under 1688 is going to be a lower high. 